We are told big cities and tiny towns share little, but the common threads can often surprise, like the impact in both of art on a wall. We have a waiting list that's like thousands of people waiting to have art. Jane Golden is the head of Mural Arts Philadelphia. One of America's oldest cities was one of the first to see a true movement for murals on its streets. Now to drive through Philadelphia is to be rewarded with a 12-mile quilt of culture. That experience of people's lives who felt like, you know what, where's my story, is now throughout our city on giant walls. Cities nationwide have used public art for real impact. In Indianapolis, a cultural trail featuring heavy investment in art has boosted nearby property values by a billion dollars. In Cincinnati, an illuminated art installation has improved safety on a popular walking trail. A Los Angeles arts agency found that putting murals on one boulevard raised business revenue by 5 to 10 percent. Back in Philly, Mural Arts runs programs for those newly returned from jail to emerge through art. But what do murals mean to towns of a few hundred? Now we're up to about 40 large-scale murals across Tennessee. Kristen Luna launched a nonprofit with her husband called Do More Art. They commission murals in largely rural areas. Viola, Tennessee is a population of about 144, I believe. And, you know, to be able to drive by and see something like that every single day and not have to go into an art gallery or a museum is a pretty cool thing for a town of that size to have. Some communities have gone all in. Chillicothe, Missouri has more than two dozen murals across town. Lake Placid, Florida has nearly four dozen. Home values might not skyrocket, but Main Street businesses get a boost. People go down there to take a picture in front of the mural and they don't realize, hey, there's an antique shop right next to it we never knew was here. And then you kind of get this snowball effect. Turns out there's pride there too. And pride is the undeniable thread that connects murals with communities, no matter their size. I'm Matt Pearl.